Hello everybody, Doogie Hoyser here, and I'm joined by Ion for our second uh second podcast. I'm gonna put I finally learned how to do the kills deaths assists bar on the sidebar. I did not oh. know how to do that when we last <laughs> last did this. So right now we have the Octopus Chief on Axe. He was originally Invoker. I think he random Invoker and then changed. Um, probably because he didn't know how to play Invoker. Uh, we have Degs Degstar on Zeus. Gray Fox on Timbersaw. Uh, Cookie Monster on Warlock and Waldorf on uh, on Gyro. Would you like to do the Dire side? Sure. We have Imbalord on Phantom Lancer. She's going top. Bottom, we have a Bloodseeker by the name of Burnout79. Bounty Hunter is Diablo, and he has zero items yet, so we'll see where he goes. And then Clinks is Santa's Snowman. And we're still missing one. Oh, yeah, we are missing one. Hopefully, they throw up the pause. There we go. So they threw up a pause. And I'll fast forward real quick. Put it at two X. Yeah, it looks like he went AFK. I guess he comes back. There we go. We have a Rubik. So we're starting again at probably about three minutes thirty seconds. I would assume, unless they decide to just wait around for another minute or two. There we go. All right. Three minutes forty seconds. We're starting again. And so Rubik is going bot, and Dire Side has a courier, and Radiant Side has a courier. So that's that's already better than a lot of normal level pub games. Yep, and Rubik has wards as well, so he's doing good. Real wow, I'm impressed. They kind of got. They kind of have two carries, bot. On dire oh, side. Correct. Yeah. I don't know if I like that. Also, Zeus picked up a battle first. Wouldn't recommend that. Yeah, generally not a good thing to do. He didn't even get the uh, rune, so that's probably a bad, bad move. Let's get the last hits up. Not much going on yet. Oh, got some action going on top. And nothing really comes of it. Jaro takes a ton of damage though. Oh, is she level 2? She's not level 2, she can't blink on him. Ah, it looks like they're going for him. Oh, this seems bad. Yeah, this seems very bad. They are going way too deep. And Rocket Barrage comes up again, and they, just, they give, uh... Not first blood, but they uh, they do get the gold bonus. That's definitely terrible. They don't have a Sal for Gyro though, so he's gonna probably have to go back. On bot, we have Bounty Hunter kind of stalking behind enemy lines here. I don't know if he's gonna do anything. Let's check the mid situation. Last hitting on them's doing really well. They're keeping up with each other for the most part. Yeah. That's pretty good. Clings can kind of be a little difficult to last hit if you're not that great at last hitting. Yeah, that animation is just so slow. The animation is slow, and if you use burning arrow, the or searing arrow rather, the projectile speed's not that fast either. I believe it changes when you use searing arrow. I could be wrong about that. I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm not pro enough to know the projectile speeds of every hero. Clinks is taking a pounding, though. You can only keep that up for so long. No homo. <laughs> um, it, I guess I didn't realize Bloodseeker's AFK. Oh, no, he's not. Hmm. He's just zero last hits, zero denies. Yeah, he's just kind of just sitting around. 
It's a little strange. There is a lot oh. of damage being done. Oh, they can see him. Oh, they're going in. Uh, I don't think anything's going to come of it, though. Or maybe he's going around. Oh, but he doesn't have even one rank of Whirling Death yet, so... Get me. Yep. Nothing really happens. I'm interested to see what's gonna happen top. There could be another situation like what happened earlier. If they're that eager to die for kills against an axe and a gyro... Yeah, I agree. When you're against people like that, I, I just like to stay la like back and... and last hit. Way too much rast coming out of both of them. I think Flat cannon and stuff. rather dive. durable as well. Mm -hmm. They've got a stun and a taunt. The stun's not the best, but it's there. You can't just ignore it. Zeus finally getting use out of that bottle. Bottom's looking really rough for Bounty Hunter and Bloodseeker. Yeah, they they were smart enough to put up the uh, the wards, so they're gonna be able to see him. Still, I, I, it seems to me like it would have been decent to get one, at least one rank of warring death. No, oh, I agree. I don't, I don't know see what why. He's doing there. Like if if they're controlling the lane, there's really no reason for reactive armor. He still has three tangos. Yeah, bounty. There's. I think bounty would have died twice if they had that uh, second yep. ability. Top lane? No, no. Oh, they're, they're <laughs> oh, <wow>. Zeus. <laughs> yeah. That's and gonna get him a wow. quick level six. They're really taking advantage of the fact that uh, Top's not last hitting. Uh, Axe has two points in battle hunger right Trouble now because they're just not even attempting to last it. I wouldn't be surprised to see him put a third point in it. I don't like the fact that Gyro only has two last hits. I don't no. see that's. That can't uh, be good, you know. Axe seems to have taken most of them. Mm -hmm. Which, it's not terrible to last it on Axe, but I wouldn't do it if you have a gyro in the same lane as you. Agreed. Bloodseeker forgot his first last hit. <laughs> That's not good. Five minutes in. <laughs> At least Bounty has nine. Mm -hmm. Bloodseeker can jungle, kind of. I don't know why they didn't send him there. They really should have. Bounty Hunter's a fantastic solo lane. Yeah, he, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's better than just having him sit down there bot with one one last hit. Despite that extra experience, uh, Zeus seems to have done really poorly in that last fight with, uh, with Glinks. Yeah. Well, currently, Clinks right now has the highest, 436 XP per minute. So, that would explain that extra level, too, that he has over Zeus. What's Almost his, two levels. What's his GPM? He's got 297, that's pretty good. And his net worth is 4k ahead of Zeus. Just goes to show how awesome last hitting is if you practice it. Oh. Oh, they got something going on down there. Bloodseeker yep. went down, and At Zeus has the haze, so... Two points in stealth, that's not right. <laughs> that's just not how you play him. Dyer's top tower's getting beat down. Silence. Radiant's mid tower could use a hand. I think we'll be seeing top go down before too much longer, as well. Yeah, agree. On the dire side. Axe is keeping it pushed, and there's not much that they can do to stop him. One thing that I'm noticing is I haven't seen a single TP from Radiant side. No one's TPing. Everyone's walking back. I mean, they're gonna go. They're gonna fall behind quickly in XP if they keep on doing this. Mm. Where at least Dire, I've been noticing TPs coming out from them, which is good. I feel like everyone should have a TP on them, of course. Everyone should always have a TP on them. Or 
be close enough to the side shop to quickly purchase a TP. Exactly. If you're not doing one or the other, you're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, mid tower won't last much longer. I feel like if they were gonna if they were gonna push this lane, I would have leveled flat cannon first on Gyro. You just push the shit out of it. Like yep. that was their if that was their ultimate plan. Right oh wow, now, Rubik hit six before Gyro did. That's pretty. Impressive. That's not good. Yeah. See, I mean, if you would have TP'd both of those times, he had the back. Yeah. Might be a different story. And if you would have went back right away at the beginning instead of waiting around at the tower to see if the tangos yeah. would heal him up enough. Yep. Oh, Axe, don't do this. Oh, making plays. Making plays. The Dyer might want to mine their top tower. Yeah, this is not going that well for him. Just a terribly timed execute. cooking Dyer's top tower. You know the drill. He should have threw the dot on him, in my opinion. That way Zeus would have been able to pick up that kill with his ulti. Yeah. But... Would have been better than trying to ult Than wasting your ult, you know. yes. yes what's happening, I mean, you can quickly look tower. at someone's health and see if they're in the kill threshold. It's not... It's not guesswork. Mm -hmm. Middle lane got some action in the Radiant Jungle. Oh well, so are they going to go for him or the, the Courier? Looks like they're going to go for him. Their bottom tower. I don't know if they Radiant's saw the Courier. Radiant's mid tower's coming apart. Klinks is making plays. He's got 496 and he's got. He's starting his Orchid. Zeus be with you. Oh, that poor PA. She's, she's gonna go down here. I don't think there's anything she can do. Yep. And that pretty much leaves him free to finish getting that top tower. I will applaud her because she did buy a TP before she died and she wanted a TP out, but it was just too, li too little too late. Yeah, she tried. It, it wasn't, uh, wasn't that. It was just way too late. Zeus is doing quite a bit of damage to Klinks. Another thing, while both sides started with a courier, only Radiant's upgraded theirs. Mm -hmm. It's ten minutes in, so everybody should have a finished courier. Looks like we might have a skirmish down bot. Invisibility. Oh, an invisible warlock I, and his ult's up. I don't like the, where this is going for them. Oh my. Hilarious. Seems like a little bit of a waste Dyer, though. Tower's gone. The Zeus ulti? Yeah. Yeah. Even the Warlock ulti, you only hit one person. Nice work on Timber. Yeah. Very nice work on Timber. timber. Unlike the last game with the Timber. You remember. I do remember that. Technical difficulties. Noob team, no man. <laughs> oh wow, Clinks is in hard. Oh wow, yeah. He's got his one oblivion staff already. Have you checked out the net worth recently? I've not checked out the net worth. Them dire buildings will tough as nails for now. Oh my. Mm. Dyer's bottom tower's getting the so business. Got 4k on clinks. The next top three are all Radiant players, though. It looks like uh, Rubik's gonna be picking up some Arcane Boots, I hope. He's got the money for it. I don't know what else he'd be getting with 1600. I see another skirmish. That was not the best gyro ultimate ever. Nope. I should be able to. Oh, no, no, looks like I couldn't make anything out of it. 
Max is not working his magic on mid lane. Radiant's top tower is hurting. Dyer's mid tower could use a little help. So I found out today where most of the Radiant's genuine items on the workshop hits. come from. Where's Not that? the workshop, the market, rather. Where from? Apparently, quite a few items at the Valve store give you a digital item when you buy them. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I, that was a pretty clinch ultimate steal, but it did not do anything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, well, it got Gyro low enough to get the tower, let the tower get the killing low on him. Something. This clinks damage, oh no. Warlock's going down. Uh, can he get Axe, though? I feel like he should be able to get him, yeah. Five in a row. Two down. And... Timber, maybe? Timber, maybe. Oh, I think he's got it. Or not. They put up the ward real quick. He could get Zeus, maybe. I think he decided to play it safe, though. That's probably the better choice. Gotcha. So, Clinx has a belt of strength Invisibility. and a glove of haste. Um, I don't know what he—I don't know what he's going Radiant's for. bottom towers seem better days. Oh, he's finally getting—he's finishing his boots. Finally, that's—that's that's what he's doing. I assumed he did that a long time ago. And Tinker's not very tanky yet. I don't like him try, like leading these initiations as much as he is. It's better to have Gyro or Warlock start them so that they can start off with a big ulti. Oh, and Gyro just gets eaten up by Flinks. Now, for quite a while, it seemed that uh, Radiant had a pretty significant lead, but they between track gold, bonus track gold, and things like that, it's really starting to disappear. Radiant's mid tower could use a hand. Though Dire will eventually start to catch up in turrets, and at that point, we have about Radiant's a thousand gold swing each time a turret turret falls a little bit more. And here's Clinks looking to make something happen. Need a blood seeker all, so he can't move. He's stuck there. Seven in a row. Old he has enough mana for strafe. If he uh, if he gets rid of the missile with his stealth, and he did, and then uses strafe if some teammates show up, he could get a couple kills here. But I, I, it looks like they just kind of lack the coordination a little bit. There we go. A very nice theft on Rubik's part. Rocket Barrage is a very powerful nuke. He really secured the uh, Warlock kill there. And Timber is down. Timber does not have much of anything at this point. He got, uh, looks like he's trying to get his Bloodstone, but got the Perseverance first. Um, if he wanted to initiate in team votes like he's doing, he probably should have led with either the uh, point booster or the vitality right booster. Uh, looks like there's uh, just Rubik not quite knowing how rocket barrage works, using it near the creep wave like that. They still finish off Zeus. It's really almost hard to believe that... Uh, that the dire side is still down a kill. They've done so well in a lot of the recent team fights Radiant's that you would think that they would actually be ahead. Days. Radiant structures must have been fortified. And they're gonna get this tower here, I'm sure. Yep. 
and that's just another thousand gold swing. So it is now even gold wise. It's really not what uh, not what Radiant Side needs. Man, almost 19 minutes in and still no Battle Fury on PA. Yeah, and uh, between Track Gold and Tower Gold, it is now uh, even. Really? Yeah. Dyer's top towers getting beat down. I mean, they're really showing. I, I mean, this is a low skill game, obviously, but they're really showing why Bounty Hunter's a good pick. Yeah, I would say so. Very underappreciated in some circumstances. Uh, the only thing that people really frequently do wrong with him in low skill games is they try to play him as the hard carry for the team. That's not really his role. Mm -hmm. I look at him almost as if he's a support hero. Just He literally supports your whole team to victory with his track. Maybe that's not the correct way of looking at it, but... Yeah, I think his build kind of, it straddles the line between, like, semi-carry and soft carry, or semi-carry and soft support, depending on who you ask. <laughs> oh no. Clinks is going in for the kill. He's... I think he's got it, he's got his... oh, no. Eight in a row. Oh no, he did get it. It's time for your this Clinks is doing quite well. Great build. Yeah. That is like the perfect Clinks build. The early Orchid gets rid of most of his mana issues that he has. Combine that with the uh, Ring of Aquila. This Bloodseeker is looking really sad, man. Really sad. Zero, four, seven last hits. I mean, at that point, you would have been better off picking like Dazzle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got less net worth than the Warlock does. He's got one full item completed. Oh, we're missing something, I think. Going for broke. Yep. Oh, I'd rather pretend and, that we're good at doing this and make fun of the uh, <laughs> Bloodseeker. How good at this game we are. We can tell that the Bloodseeker that has less gold than a support should have just gone support. <laughs> We've graduated. <laughs> and Warlock just got his ass kicked there. There was really nothing to see. I think it was like four shots, maybe five. Between Orchid, the alt, and the Searing Arrows, people just dropping. Okay, so Axe has a Sange. I saw that. I don't know. I don't know what, if I, th what I think about it. Maybe he's... I, I guess he's going Heaven's Hobbit. If he goes Sange and Yash, I'll be really disappointed, though. That went really well. How many was that? Two down. For about a second, and then they started following Bounty Hunter. And now they're, they're, they're way overextended. Looks like Clinks will be in cleanup duty. Oh man. Oh no. And Clinks got the gem. Oh, that gem's not going to be doing him very much good. You don't don't get gem too early. All you do at that point is just screw over your team. Yeah. Trouble brewing at Radiant's bottom tower. And yeah, he got Warlock as well. In a row. So he's 12 and 0. Such a brittle life. That's a pretty big deal. Trouble brewing at Radiant's bottom tower. Dyer could get a, uh, a tower just from this creep push alone. Radiant's bottom tower ain't a pretty sight right now. We oh, got some dialogue. End this, you were winning. They were! Radiant's they were winning at the start. Banged up. But looking at the gold graph now, it's almost Radiant's 2,000 in Dyer's favor. Better days. A little bit less than that now. Now it's closer to 1k. Trouble brewing at Radiant's bottom tower. 
Look, I said I lost count. They need to be really careful and just travel to group at this point. When when Flint says his alt buff, he's at a uh, 2k health. You can't take that one on one. Looks like no. he's going MKB next too. This is a pretty scary clinks. Well, he gets like two free hyperstones. Mm -hmm. So that on hit build is going to be really effective. It's a little bit more than two free hyperstones. Hyperstones 55. Double damage. Warlock's up here, and he should really be back. There he is. He goes back. He should really be back behind where the river goes into the lane. So there's nothing really stopping Clinks from just kind of showing up behind him and popping Orchid. It's not like it takes that many hits to kill a Warlock. And a Tim ulti. <laughs> Save that ulti for team fights, guys. Yeah, especially when you have a scenarios. Warlock on your team. Yeah. You bond some people together. If you bond the whole team together, it doubles your damage. Because they take full damage, and then each member of the five person team shares 20% damage. And then that bounces around again, so they all instantly die. No. <laughs> He had time to pop Shadow Wog, apparently just didn't give a shit. Radiance mid towers getting the what for. PA's starting a little bit of a fun run. I can't believe she still doesn't have uh, Battle Fury. Yeah. She's not bad under Tarn. Clinks is 1v5 right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why Clinks ran away. He could, I would have just stayed in there. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that. I mean, sure, Strafe is down, but he's still doing 230 damage for auto attack. Dyer's top tower. You know the drill. Dyer's lost the top tower. Uh, Radiant's doing the right thing though. They're like, well, if we don't end this soon, Clinks is just gonna walk all over us. The Dyer might want to mine their top tower. <laughs> I wish kills, deaths, and assists Get was suited by ratio. I would like that a little bit better. Zax is six and three, and t uh, Timber's five and two. That's pretty good. Mhm. Mm yeah, I'm I'm impressed with this Timber. To me. See, this is what I don't get. If you see one of them engage on you, there's a decent chance that the Clinks is nearby stealthed. And if you're not all there, you should think about regrouping and just going back a bit. Yeah. Because there's no way a bounty hunter's gonna engage 1v2 without companies, so. Yeah. Oh well. And the only person that it would have been favorable to have near them would be this Bloodseeker, who now only has Power Shreds and a Wraith Band. Well, I'm glad that uh, Gyro did not level Homing Missile first, at least. It would have been really useless for him. I think I just kind of drops. Cremation is in your there, the issue is here that Radiant's not playing like there's a fed carry on the other team. 
They're playing like they still have a decent lead or that the game's close. And they need to be playing a bit more cautiously. Exactly. It's not like the game's over at this point in, you know, other types of play, but when you're in a pub game like this, it probably is. It's, it's hard to, it's hard to recover. If they can't change their play style, which they haven't so far, it's definitely too hard to recover. And that's something that I've noticed in a lot of pubs, is a lot of people seem to have, like, one style of play and that's it. Mm -hmm. They can play as though they're winning, or they can play as though the game is moderately close, but once it starts to... That was a good deny by Timber. Once it starts to get a little more distant, they don't have any way of changing or modifying their play style. And I think that's that's a big like gap separator between your average skill level player and your more advanced skill level player. Yeah, I agree. Uh, if you're losing, it's okay to just turtle up. We got a Roshan attempt. Yeah, we do. Does he have that MKB to help him out? He does. Ward placement has been meh to terrible. I've only seen one or two wards on the map at any given time, and that's from both sides. Yeah, definitely needs to be more wards, especially with two invis on the on the enemy team. Yeah, those invises don't last forever. If they pop them, and then they go in, so they're on the outskirts of the fight before they pop the invis. If you can see them on the outskirts about to pop the invis then you can play more appropriately. Rubik's starting to get a little bit of ward coverage. He has a force stab, I didn't notice that. <laughs> Rubik's looking pretty fat. He's got arcane boots, force stabs, and 1500 gold. He is fourth on the last hit list. Pretty impressive. Yeah, that also helps explain a little bit why PA does not have her, or did not have her, a uh, battle fury for the longest time. I think it would have helped to see a little bit less last hitting from Rubik. He's a very cool hero, but. Uh, I think after he gets that four staff, he doesn't very benefit from very much gold. A blink would be nice as well. Oh, we got double chakra action going on. Oh, and Klinks is rushing to help his team out, so... He may be starting a kind of 1v4 situation. Yeah, that's what he's decided to do. Axe goes down pretty much instantly. I, I just don't really agree with him running away like that whenever there's a... Uh, whenever he gets a kill. Yeah, he doesn't realize how strong he is, I think. Plays very cautiously. There's nothing terribly wrong with that, but... Uh, he's, he's got an Aegis, so... Yeah, <laughs> you know, he could he's definitely... He's given up opportunities. There's points where he could have turned a, a single into a double, or a double into a triple. And that means they could have started to recoup that lost tower gold a little bit faster. Let's look at the gold graph while it's paused real quick. It is now around 8,000 gold in the Dyer's favor. It started off kind of neck and neck, and then it was 3k in Radiant's favor, and now it is 8k in Dyer's favor. Wow. Don't look at the XP graph either. <laughs> oh my god. That's even worse. Dyer never really had a huge lead in XP.
or Radiant rather than Zerder, never had a huge lead in, in XP. And Klinks is 21. And a bunch of people are kind of stuck at 15. It looks like they decided to press some of that Rubik. It looks like Klinks had time to rethink his situation when it came to leaving the fight and decided to get back in there. Plus wait. It, 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 it's a little rude to pause when you have a fight like this going on, though, in all legitimate fairness. You should probably have waited for this to resolve first. There we go. Many thanks. So with MKB, you can probably. Oh, oh not quite. Don't believe Strafe had quite come up yet, so he couldn't really go in for the kill there. And Tibbers finally got his bloodstone. Radiant's bottom tower ain't a pretty sight right now. Bounty's just kind of stalking the outskirts. I'm gonna come right out and say it. I don't really understand the uh, lore of building Vlads on Bounty. His agility gains aren't that great. You typically don't build items that are high on agility on him. Oh, looks like Bloodseeker might go down here. Invisibility. Yeah. yeah finished him off. Bunny's trying to stick him to the outskirts, but he has to be careful because he can die to the um, the permanent immolation from the golem if he's not careful. Radiant's top tower is in bad shape. And Clink just comes in again and ends it instantly. I'm your god too. Shadows. No, I was worried his ages had expired there, but he's going to keep on going. He's going to get a little bit ahead of him and then start making use of that MKB. Let's just say it's on the street. That like 15 and a two down. Yeah, I saw several hits pop up that were fight in the 500 range. And that's with 130 attack speed. It's not going to bode well for the uh, for the radiant side. Hmm. Axe is indeed right. He did get his Aegis. But Klinks has finished his Daedalus at this point. So he's got three finished big ticket items in the Ring of Aquila. And Gyro's going for a 37 minute Shadow Blade. Not good. Probably best Gyro in A. Looks like Warlock's going Necro, maybe? No, yeah, he's got Necro. Actually, Warlock doesn't have boots. Interesting. That explains a little bit. Uh, do I really have to do a boot count? Who has boots? Let's see. Zeus does, Gyro does, Warlock doesn't. Yes, ten in a row. Alright, good. Ev everyone has boots but Warlock then. I was scared for a second. Me too. I thought I picked a match that was, you know, not amazing or anything, but not a match where people don't buy boots. Yeah. Yeah. 
trouble brewing that radiant's body. And Bloodseeker only has 21 last hits. <laughs> you really I just don't have understand just that. Support. Yeah. At the same time, though, there's no excuse. I mean, this late into the game, there's farm everywhere. Yeah. And you can farm everything, so I don't know what he's thinking. It must just be a, a very new player, I would imagine. Radiance mid towers coming apart. Uh, at this point, I would shift. I fire him. I would shift his power shards over to agility and just start farming the shit out of the jungle. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need the extra strength to farm because he's got the uh, his passive. Gyro's finally learned not to put his missile on people with stealths. Let's just say it's a winning streak. Oh, but it really mattered. It would be so much better for them to sit around at this Radiant mid tower and put a, a uh, stealth ward like right around here tower. and just wait for a fight to break out. Max has blade mail and heaven's outward. Radiance mid tower could use a hand. And mid will be going down shortly. Or not. Radiance top tower is hurt. Axe, Axe and Timber are still doing quite well despite the fact that uh, there hasn't been any real. Uh, oh wow, Warlock goes down instantly. Clint goes down instantly. And. Or not Clint. Timber. And then. Clings gets you another kill. I think letting themselves get discouraged as much as they did is part one of like one of the new player traps that they fell into. It's costing them to do as poorly as they are. Somebody's on a roll. Radiance mid towers get banged up. Radiant's mid towers in trouble. On Zeus just straight up abandons the game. Radiant's mid tower could use a hand. I was really hoping that in a uh, 52 minute game there wouldn't be any <laughs> rage quits. Someone's having technical difficulties. Radiant's top tower is in bad shape. Butterflies finish, by the way, him. on Clinks. Yeah, he's just looking so good this game. The Radiant lost the top tower. It's games like this that the make me want to play Clinks, and then I remember that my main roles are like supports and semi carries so i'm not the best at last hitting Radiant anyway and his animation's terrible <laughs> radiance top rags ain't gonna last the radiance top rags didn't make it What's nice here is that uh, he's getting the true strike so that he can stay down here and get the uh, racks and everything. Radiance mid racks taking some punishment. It would have been Radiance nice if it would have come down to that, but Radiance it really didn't even come down to him needing it. it. Yeah. Radiance mid towers getting banged up. MKB definitely a good choice if you're having trouble sieging those tier 3 towers on a ranged hero. My in your blood. Looks like they're going for the Mega Creep victory. Radiant lost one of them bottom towers. Radiant's bottom ranks. It's done. Radiant's bottom And here comes the long honored tradition of the Fountain Taunts. Radiant's mid tower. Or maybe not. Things ain't looking bright for Radiant's ancient. Well, they decided to be nice and end it. 
Never good sports. <laughs> Report plagues show off. <laughs> I love it. So, uh, I don't know, that game shows a couple important things. Um, Dire was behind for the longest time. They did not let themselves get discouraged. Radiant did, and Radiant or Dire ended up coming back and winning the game. Yeah, that was an impressive comeback. Yep, yep. And this is it for our second uh, pubcast. This has been uh, Juki Quasar with uh, Ion signing off.